The reservoir behind it will be roughly the same size as London. While the dam itself will be twice as tall as the Golden Gate Bridge. Welcome to the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, an epic name for an epic feat of engineering. It's decades in the making and forms part of the country's so-called economic miracle, largely because it has the potential to lift millions of people out of poverty. But it could also be the dangerous spark that ignites a whole new conflict in the region. Egypt, Sudan and Ethiopia are at odds over who controls the world's longest river. A fight for the Nile. This is the largest dam in Africa. So large it has its own classification. It's a mega dam. Mega what? Once complete, it'll produce over 5,000 megawatts of electricity, more than double Ethiopia's current output today. And its reservoir will hold 74 billion cubic meters of water. The numbers here don't get any less overwhelming. The dam itself is made of 10 million cubic meters of roller compacted concrete and is set to include two power stations, three spillways and a saddle dam. The main dam itself will be 145 meters deep by 1.7 kilometers long, while the saddle dam supporting the main structure will be an astonishing 4.8 kilometers long by 45 meters high. There'll be two outdoor power stations on either bank of the river, with the capacity to generate roughly 2,000 to 3,700 megawatts of power. The first step on the journey to build something as enormous as this kind of sets the tone for the rest of the project, the casual diversion of the Lunar River in 2013. Now, as dramatic as that sounds, it's actually pretty common when building...